All right, we're here with Bravo again, and he is doing extremely well with his shoulder dislocation to the point where we can front press. And we're going to show you an exercise today that takes front pressing and a lateral rotation load together because this is a stage before we do shoulder pressing like with kettlebells or dumbbells which is what everyone wants to do but this is a stage before and to get to that stage so before we were getting him to do a side sprinter so let's show you the components of this whole thing so you can see how it comes together so the side sprinter is doing flexion at the shoulder with a bent elbow at 90 degrees and there's a lateral resistance load. So with this exercise, which you've probably seen before, he's going to pivot at the shoulder joints, he's going to go flexion into here, into there. Now, if you look this way, he's got to keep his hand wider or at least parallel to his elbow, come down again. So when he goes into flexion, into that position, he's not letting the band take him inwards. So he's doing external rotation strength when he's doing shoulder flexion so the beauty about this is there's not a massive amount of load in the front anterior part of the shoulder when we do this exercise the load is in the back part of the shoulder which is what you need for lateral rotation strength when you press overhead to protect the shoulder so this is why we're doing side sprinter now a front press take that one away is a precursor to shoulder press because the way we do a front press with the band and the reason, just let that one go brother, the reason we're doing this one front pressing is because when he presses overhead I want him doing the movement of pressing to get the synchronization of his scapula and his rotator cuff and everything working and getting doing used to doing some loading without a heavy weight okay so the resistance of the band is light when the weight when your arm is down and heavy when your arm is up so when all the muscle tissue shortens when he raises his arm the band is harder which is the whole thing about therabands and using them for rehab so if you're pressing forward and above your head so that's your front press okay so he's doing that one as well this week as well as side sprinter now the thing about today's exercise is combining the two so what i want him doing is doing a front press with a side sprinter so we call this a front press with a lateral band so he has now got resistance load for a shoulder press he's got a lateral load to help with the technical aspects of that rotator cuff so away you go bravo and he's got a press like that with one arm so it's good for core because he's got to stabilize and he's got to keep this if you come around here for me okay. he's got to keep his hand wider go back there than his elbow so as he comes up he can't let that hand go inwards he's always got to keep it out and that's rex through here which is great but doesn't wreck him in the front you've got a bit of load there though, haven't you brother yeah yep. yep go again for me that's it okay so that is how you progress from a front press and a side sprinter into this sort of front press with lateral band and that is the step before doing a shoulder press with a dumbbell or a kettlebell like a conventional shoulder exercise um, so work on that before you do the shoulder press and then you'll know that you've got all that rotator cuff and scapular technical stuff behind you before you start loading the shoulder perfect that's awesome